go. Blake Thornhill, Justin Dunn bringing him to the green flag out of turn four. We are racing. And it's going to be Justin Dunn leading off turn number two. Second spot, it is Blake Thornhill. Third, Morris. Fourth spot, the kid Hibden. Fifth spot, the three time track champion, Becker. Boy, and Hibden just gets punted out of the way coming off four. He gets clobbered again. Chuck Becker now running in fourth. Fifth spot is P.J. Dyke. Forty-seven car pulls it to the pit area. We stay green. That's Tim LeBrake to forty-seven L. Car almost around. That was Randy Thornell. Almost got clobbered by Joseph Altic. They stay off each other. We'll stay green. Meanwhile, back out front, Justin Dunn has advanced his lead to nearly a half straightaway. Now second place changes hands. Blake Thornell took it back from Bradley Morris. P.J. Dyke trying to go to the inside of Chuck Becker. And Dyke takes away the fourth place spot in the 33D car. They've got Hibden right behind them, then Fangmeyer right behind Hibden. Four laps down, 16 to go. Bradley Morris again trying to go to the inside of Thornell. That's Blake Thornell. Thornell beats him down the back straightaway. Hibden, the 48 car, goes to the inside of Becker, drags Fangmeyer with him. Hibden moves up to fifth. And Fangmeyer slides the 50 car into sixth. Trades a little paint with Becker down the front straightaway. All of a sudden, second place now starting to reel in the leader. Thousand dollars to win the main event tonight. As soon as Thornell throw, we got a car going up in smoke. I believe that was John Crow on the front straightaway. And we go yellow. A lot of fluid came out of that car, went up in smoke. Luke Dodd had nowhere to go. Six laps down, 14 to go. Out of turn four, green flag. Bradley Morris immediately goes to the inside of the racetrack. Thornell fights him off, maintains second. Hibden trying to size up P.J. Dyke for third now. Actually, that'd be for fourth. They got Fengmeyer right behind them. Oreski in the number 36 car gets past Chuck Becker. He moves up to seventh. Thornell, little bobble off turn number two. Bradley Morris, a 24 car, takes over the second place spot. Now Morris all over the leader. Remember Morris won the season opener out here in 2018. That's a car in second. Car around in turn number one. That is Martin, the 91 car. And we go yellow. We go yellow. And he gets the turn back around, but that was way too late. Unsafe for the leaders coming around. Grabowski looks like he's going to come out of the racetrack, but he is laps behind. He did not make the initial start. Here we go. Eight laps down. Green flag. Three leaders done. Second spot, it is Morris. Third, Blake Cornell. Fourth, Dyke. Fifth spot, it is Hibben. Sixth spot, Fangmeyer. Seventh, Becker. Eighth, Resky. Ninth, Ganea. And in tenth, it's Randy Thornell. Hibden again working hard on P.J. Dyke. Challenge for the lead. Dunn going to maintain the lead off turn number two. Sorry to talk about P.J. Dyke looking good in fourth. Does not race here a lot. He's a regular Verona. Now a slide job for the lead. Contact new leader is Bradley Morris. And we go yellow. 
Got a car stopped on the inside of turn one and two. Nine laps down. One lap under green and we will be the halfway point in this one. Uh, turn four, green flag. Four breaths coming off two. Oh, Farnell gets collected, gets PJ Dyke. Gets hit by Becker. We go yellow. Guys decide they want to run three and four breaths on a restart, and that is never a good thing. Tough break for PJ Dyke, who've been running. Morris again attacks on the inside. Done a good run off the top. Going to maintain the lead down the back straightaway. Colin hibbed in the 48 car. He slides up into third. Halfway this time by cross flags from our starter. We are leader at the halfway point. Done. Second Morris. Third hibbed in fourth spot. It's Thornell. Fifth is Fangmeyer. Sixth Horeski. Seventh Ganeo. Eighth spot Randy Thornell. Ninth spot Luke Dodd. Tenth spot Chad Burns. Right rear flat on the 04 of Joseph Altig. He's headed back to the pit area. More sizing up the leader once again. 12 laps in the books. Car around the corner, that's Martin, the 91 car. We go yellow, 32 car slides into him. So it'll be eight laps to go, your leader is done. Second spot, Morris, third, Hipton, fourth spot, it is Blake Thornell, fifth spot, Bam Bam Fangmeyer. Green flag again. Leader Justin Dunn just wants to get this thing over with. He's led all the way, but he's had some extreme heat applied by Morris. If that's not enough, Hibden is right there as well. Good restart that time for Justin Dunn. Steven Fangmeyer, the inside of Blake Warnell. Move Bam Bam up to fourth. Now Bam Bam hops the cushion. Thornell almost went underneath them. Morris reels in the leader, going into turn number three. Morris to the inside. Dunn maintains the top spot. And we go yellow again. That's a 78 car out of Chula Vista, John Walton. Back to fifth, Fangmeyer fourth, Hibden third, green flag. Hibden taking a good look at the inside of Morris. Morris going to beat him down the back straightaway. Morris way sideways, costs him a lot of real estate. Lyle's done to open up his lead. Five to go next time by. Luke Dodd goes around. Green flag. Hibden again goes to the bottom line. Morris going to beat him off turn number two. Five laps remaining this time by. But Hibden keeps trying to poke a nose up on the inside of Morris. Morris keeps a wide line, gets a better drive, maintains a spot. We got two around. One is Luke Dodd. He gets it refired. He knows he's done. They both get refired. We're going to stay green. The other one was Walton. They both would have been out. Three laps remaining this time by. Justin Dunn goes a little straight through the corner. That allows Morris to close in. 
They may encounter lap traffic. Morris tries to slide it up on the leader. Dunn maintains his spot. And 98 and 78 take each other out in turn three. We go yellow. Green flag. And, oh, unbelievable. Ganella, Randy Thurnell, Horeski. Yeah, Blake Thornell had been running top five all race also in there. Him and his father. Dream flag. That would go down the front straightaway better that time. And a good run by Dunoff, turn number two. Hibden looking at the inside of Morris once again. Horeski gets by Ganella, move the 36 car to fifth. The white flag the next time by. Now Dunn starting to pull away. White laundry, one to go. Boy, the guy out front saves the best for last, pulls away at the end of the race. Checker's going to come down. It's going to be the second ever IMCA modified win at Paris Auto Speedway for Justin Dunn. Second spot is Morris, third spot Hibden, fourth spot Fangmeyer, sixth Horeski, seventh Ganea, eighth spot Burns, ninth will be, I believe, Randy Thornell. I'm not sure on that one. Somebody maybe laps down. Peyton Manisto, we need you to the crossover gate. Peyton Manisto, we need... He can hear you. Make some noise for Justin Dunn.